ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Weapons of Mass Tinnitus. Is this real enough for you? Welcome back to Tech City. This is Berani's coming back to you guys today with a video about headphones versus loudspeakers and when you should use one or the other. Now this video comes to me as pretty much an unintentional discovery or an unintentional shock that I made when I was testing out a variety of different headphones over the last few months. Uh, I will say however, before we get into this video, I'm not an audio engineer and I'm not a physicist, so this video, don't take this video as concrete proof, it's pretty much just my findings and my opinion on this matter. And I will say as well, if there is an audio engineer out there or something like that, you guys, I implore you guys to comment in the comment section and share your knowledge because this video is ultimately about just sharing knowledge and uh, educating myself as much as it is about educating you guys. Uh, anyway, before we get on with the video, I will be talking about decibels and SPL. So if you guys want to get up to date with that and you don't know what that means, I'll put a link in the description below so you can know what that means. Uh, anyway, let's move on now to the first part, and that is my research and my history. So as you guys know, I've been testing a variety of different headphones uh, and headsets over the past few months. And a lot of the times these headphones and headsets, they left my ears ringing or stinging and um, flaring up a condition otherwise known as tinnitus. So if you guys don't know what tinnitus is, I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, you can get up to date with that. But uh, a lot of the times it affected my hearing to the stage where I was uh, not being able to hear people properly the next day. I mean, it's, it wasn't huge. It wasn't like, oh my God, I can't hear anything. But it was just a real annoyance. And this is the thing I'm going to emphasize through this video. This was all my listening tests were pretty much done at comfortable listening levels. I never really turned the volume up to ridiculous levels or even something that would be loud. And so that's the, that's the scary point. And that's why I wanted to share this video with you guys today and point out the dangers of headphones. Because a lot of time, a lot of these headphones actually left my ears um, just sort of ringing like, it's this real bad effect. A lot of, maybe some of you guys have had it before, especially if you've gone to a loud concert. But anyway, my research involves me uh, buying an SPL meter from Amazon and then using, I decided to use two uh, just very uh, budget kind of headphones, the Logitech G230. Uh, which is a gaming headset and I also decided to use some ISKs. Uh, these are a, I think they're also the Tackstar 2050s. So they're a very cheap headphone but they sound very good for the money. Uh, I then decided to volume match these against my loudspeakers. So everything was volume matched at around about uh, just below 70 decibels and I decided to volume match this across three different songs. The songs I did was uh, Crying by Chris Isaac, Somebody's Crying. I also did Booty In Your Face and Eddie Murphy Party All The Time. So I just decided to do three different songs, volume match them. And when I did this, it was all comfortable. The listening levels on all three, the two headphones and the loudspeakers, it was comfortable. However, this is where things got scary. I decided to grab a, I decided to pull up two tests, a 300 hertz test and a 2000 hertz test. And when I did the 2000 hertz test, this is at the same comfortable listening levels. The 2000 hertz test shocked me because uh, basically it's on the ISKs, it peaked to 87 decibels. This is from a level that was just below 70 decibels. For me, it's a comfortable listening level. Just below 70 de decibels is a really comfortable listening level. When I had that comfortable, same comfortable listening level, it peaked all the way up to 88 decibels on the 2000 hertz sign test, which to me was really scary. Uh, when I did this on the Logitech G230s, it was the same deal. This is considered a low sensitivity headset. These peaked up to 82.5 decibels. When I ran that same test on my loudspeakers, they only peaked to 72 decibels. So we can see there's almost a 10 decibel difference in the peaks. And this is the thing, the 2000 Hertz test, it's one of the most dangerous frequencies for your ears. I think your, the human ear is most sensitive from 2K to 6K in terms of in kilohertz, so it's 2 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz. So be very careful. If you guys pull this test up now, uh, be very careful because maybe after five seconds it'll leave your ears ringing. So I'll pull it, put the link in the description below for the 2000 hertz test, but be very careful with it. I'm not responsible for the damage you guys do to your ears. Uh, but that's something that, that shocked me. When I did the 300 hertz test, things were more uh, in line. The loudspeakers were pulling 77 decibels. 
The uh, G230s were pulling uh, under 70 decibels, they're only pulling 67 decibels, and the ISKs were pulling in the low 80s. However, the 300 hertz test, it doesn't really annoy my ears. It didn't flare up tinnitus at all. 2000 hertz was the test that really flared my ears up. It got my ears like bzzz, ringing and stinging really hard. So what does this mean? What does this research essentially mean? It means that uh, basically when we look at it, the ISKs at comfortable listening levels compared to the loudspeakers peaked 15 decibels higher. And essentially this translates into at comfortable listening levels, headphones have the potential to damage your ears more than loudspeakers. So I'll say that one more time. La headphones at comfortable listening levels, in my opinion, they have the potential to damage your ears more than loudspeakers. So that's something to take out of this video. So why is this? This is the part where I'm not an audio engineer and I'm not a physicist, so I can't tell you con in concrete proof why it does this. However, I do have some theories, and that is, the first thing is the distance. The loudspeaker, there's a lot more distance between your ear and the speaker, and so the high SPL sounds, or the high impact sounds, meet more resistance um, bef when before the sound hits your ears, as opposed to a headphone where there's just generally there's not that much space between the speaker and your ear. So those high impact sounds really just travel down your ear canal a lot faster and they don't meet as much resistance as opposed to a loudspeaker. So the second theory I have is that obviously it's just the size of the speaker and the sound signature of headphones in general and that they got smaller drivers and those smaller drivers are able to pump out the treble or the higher frequencies with ease. So that's that's my just my experience. If there's an audio engineer out there or, uh, or a physicist, then maybe they want to chime in. Uh, but anyway, let's move on now to the last part of the video. So this is the recommendations and conclusions. And now basically I'm going to say this is very subjective because uh, when I play for the 2000 hertz tone, for example, that might not affect the next guy as much as it affected me. So ultimately, it's your ears. You guys be the judge. With that being said, the first recommendation I'm going to make is that use loudspeakers whenever you can. Only use headphones when you absolutely have to. Now, for me personally, the need for headphones came about two years ago when my baby was born. Before that, I had never used headphones or headsets, maybe just for like two minutes in my life, but that was about it. So I only really started uh, consistently using headphones from about two years ago when I bought the Razer car cases. Uh, as my baby was born, I had to keep the noise down, but I also be, uh, had to be able to hear him, so I needed a semi-open design. Um, these things, they are a godsend. I will talk about these a little bit later, but let's get on to the second recommendation, and that is... Uh, keep volume levels as low as possible, uh, as low as comfortably possible. So I'm literally, if you've got your volume at like 70, maybe turn it down to 33 and just let your ears adjust and see if you, you can hear the voices clearly. For me, I now listen to uh, audio at on my onboard. This is on my onboard audio. I now listen to levels at 25. Yes, that's how low I listen to music. Onboard audio too. So you guys know how weak the amp is on an onboard audio compared to, say, a dedicated headphone amplifier. I'm listening at levels of 25 on my onboard audio with my Razer car cases now. Uh, so let's talk about headphones, though. My headphones now, there's only really... I have only a few uh, different headphones in my arsenal. As you guys know, I've sold a lot of the different headphones I reviewed. Uh, the first one I have is my Ghetto Heisers. These are a custom job, custom hack job I did on some HD 595s, and I turned them into a gaming headset. Uh, these things, I mean, look, the sound quality is phenomenal. These things sound a world different compared to my Razer car cases. Uh, however, one thing that these do is that they just manage to leave my, they flare up my tinnitus if I listen to these for longer than like literally 10 minutes. They are very accurate, however, I can only listen to them even at levels of like 20 on my onboard audio, which is comfortable, they still manage to leave my ears ringing and stinging. Uh, however, I do love them when I'm doing really, when I need real accuracy, uh, when I need to analyze sound, I do keep these around, uh, and they just provide a phenomenal listening experience as well. Uh, they're, the bass is a little bit better than HD5, uh, normal HD 595s, and I made a video about that in my ghetto heisers. Uh, but these are the next um, video I made, I mean, the next headphones I have hanging around, and these are the ISKs. Uh, these things are just amazing. They're, they're $40 headphones. I think they're called the Tackstar 2050s. I mean, there's a lot of different names for these. 
Uh, a lot of different OEM makers make these things. And for $40, man, they are a phenomenal headphone. However, these, after a good few hours, actually left my ears ringing and stinging as well. So um, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, also, the comfort of these is phenomenal as well. I mean, they're really good. I managed to do the 32-0 gameplay, the Flawless Black Ops 2 gameplay on these headphones. So the sound stage is amazing. They're a semi-open design. And man, the sound quality coming out of these things is phenomenal. I'll be doing a mini review in another video soon about these because uh, there is something you should do to make these more comfortable. Uh, and yeah, the last headset I have is the um, Razer Carcasses. Now, basically, these are my main gaming headset. It's sad. I've, after all this time, I've come back to these things because after literally an eight-hour gaming session, these headphones or this headset does not leave my ears ringing and stinging. They don't flare up my tinnitus at all. So I don't know why that is. Uh, I mean, I've tested so many different headphones, and these are like the only one that I can have on my head for like eight hours at a time and not affect me. I can still go to bed, sleep peacefully, wake up the next day, hear everyone fine. Uh, I don't know why that is, but I do have a theory, and that is once I put them on, they um, you put them up like that, and they start to sag down a bit after about an hour. And so the speaker is not actually directly hitting your ear canal. That's the reason why I think these don't flare up my tinnitus as much as other headphones. So that's something that was just, maybe it was just a uh, luck of the cards. I bought my first headset and they happen to be the ones that don't flare up tinnitus at all. Uh, but on, the, on a side note, yes, they're muddy. They don't sound anywhere near as good as the other two headphones I have here. They don't even sound as good as my KSC-75s, which I use for outdoor. However, I only use them for um, exercising and so I only use them for like 20 minutes at a time. So I can't really tell you if they are a long-term gaming headset but yeah the only headset I've had that comes through that does not flare up my tinnitus is the Razer Carcasses and no I'm not marketing for Razer you guys know me um, I don't care about any of these companies Razer just I don't know man their muddy headphones just seem to do it they don't flare up my um, tinnitus but anyway I'm gonna close out now and say in the end uh, they're your ears be very careful with your ears ladies and gentlemen because uh, in 10 years time, you know, I want to be able to hear my uh, baby, you know, doing his first sports carnival or whatnot. I want to be able to be there and I want to be able to hear everything perfectly. So I'm going to be taking care of my ears and I implore you guys to do the exact same. Take care of your ears. So when you buy a pair of headphones, try them out. I mean, just buy them. If you can do like a trial for a day or borrow some uh, headphones from a friend, uh, just clean them with alcohol wipes. And when we give them back, clean them with alcohol wipes too. Uh, just test them for comfort. And now comfort encompasses a lot of things. It doesn't just encompass physical comfort. For me, when I test headphones now, I'm going to be telling you guys, do these headphones flare up tinnitus, especially for me? That's a new test that I want to know because there's a lot of people on different headphone forums that I've been reading about who have some really serious tinnitus problems. So something to keep in mind ladies and gentlemen and ultimately I care about you guys and I want you guys to take care of your ears and now I'm gonna close out I'm gonna make one more video about audio where I just close out and do some mini reviews of headphones uh, for instance these these things and other headphones that I haven't reviewed and after that I will be finished with audio and we're gonna get back to the juicy tech stuff I've got a GDX 750 Ti mini ITX build coming for you guys that is on order and with that being said can I get a thumbs up? And if you love Tech City, hit that sub button and I'm going to roll the outro. Peace out for now. Bye.